Yes, I understand. Excellent. Well, in that yes. case, we can talk. Tell me, um, for example, Val Valdez, um, did you fall when you were younger? Um, yes, I fall. I fell. Ah, because I fall <laughs> is every day. Yes, uh -huh. I fell mm -hmm. when I was younger. You fell when you were younger. That's very bad. Can you tell us about the accident? Um, one time when I rode in a bicycle. Okay, when I rode in a bicycle. Oh, the interesting. <laughs> this is when you are uh, telling a, a story, and this is the next the next conversation. When you are telling a story, you don't speak in past. You use was plus ing. Let's oh, go yeah. through that. This is a new topic, telling a story. If you say, I rode a bike. And you say, when? This is not a match. Okay. No match. You see? Yes. The match in this case Is where? Uh, uh the, the the match in this case is I was riding mm -hmm. a bike. Oh surprise, that was unexpected. You see what I mean? Yes, teacher. That's the correct form. Every time you want to tell a story, you need to start with, I was doing this, I was doing that, when something happened. And you make a combination, structure five and ing. For context, ing. So I was riding a bike. Mm, I was riding a bike when? Yes. I fall down. Fall? I fall? Fall every day? Fell. Exactly. Repeat. I fell. I was riding a bike when I fell. Fantastic context. That's a correct story. This is our next conversation. A little bit of a spoiler. Very good, man. Very, very good. Um, Tell me. Tell me, Rox. Have you ever, have you ever felt um, have you ever felt angry with your boss? Have you ever what, sorry? Have you ever felt angry with your boss? Yes, I felt Mm. Angry. I'm talking about your life. Ah, in past in a history telling. Well, if I am talking about your past, no, I'm talking. If I'm talking about your your life, I mean, this is past, of course, but this is past too. Ah, no, 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 this is present. This, this is past too. You see, and this is past too. What's the difference? This is an a specific past and this is in my life. Um, in my life, I have. Exactly. I have, um, I have felt. Uh, almost fell. 
Transition, let's go back again. I have. Well, failed. Failed with a T. Uh, did you say the T? Sorry, your yeah, microphone. I have, I have, I have felt uh -huh. angry with my boss. Excellent. Yes, I have felt angry with my boss. Don't worry, this is a secret. This is <laughs> only in the class ping pong, okay? Tell us why or when did you feel angry with your boss? Um, my boss is a little, um, how do you say, angry? I don't know. Uh, enojón? How do you say enojón? Oh, do you know the word grumpy? Grumpy. Okay. Uh -huh. My boss is a little grumpy. Oh. So, so? Uh, he, in, in times, or in mm -hmm. certain times, uh, he lost. Loss, loss is not the verb. When you in, speak in general, you need the present, he lose. Okay. He lose the control. I lose, control. you lose, and he? Uh, lose. Uh, for when the verb <laughs> when the verb ends in s when the verb ends in s like lose you need an extra syllable loses loses very good loses so what does he do yes he uh, loses the control good that is a good example and yes hashtag bosses you know I agree with you. Excellent example, Rox. Good job. Escape. Okay. <laughs> Find a better place. Anyway, keep. Keep, kept, kept. Very very pronunciation. Keep, kept, kept. Keep, kept, kept, kept. Good. I want to hear the T, eh? Kept. 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 Excellent. Good. So, the word keep and the word, well, the word keep has many, 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 many meanings. Okay. Do you remember the meaning of keep? Yes, teacher, is when I kept in my refrigerator food. When you kept in your refrigerator food. Okay, that's precisely the thing. So in this case, keep or kept is similar to store, similar to safe. Do you agree with uh -huh. me? Yes. That's mm -hmm. correct. Yes. I kept yes. my food in the refrigerator. You kept your food in the refrigerator. Uh, did you keep one only one time in the la in the past or constantly, normally? Mm, normally. Normally. So you need to speak in present. Okay. How do you use it? I that? have kept. Uh -uh. Have my kept food. is past. Uh, in kept. present. Only present. Uh, I keep. I keep. Very my, food, my food in the in the refrigerator. I keep my food in the refrigerator. That's much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because kept is only one time in the past. Yes, right? yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Now we have another, another example in the chat that is very different. Caesar, can you tell us about that? Uh-huh, I, I have kept um, the pasta. I have kept the pasta, but eliminate half. Um, okay. We, if you are talking about pasta, uh, okay. you are speaking in present. Okay. So I... I keep... I keep, correct. Uh -huh. The pasta. Yes. On 
in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, that is correct. Good job. Now, in the chat, Cesar has another example, right, Cesar? Yes, teacher. Tell um, me. Yeah, like the uh, viral memes, the keep calm. And... Oh, watch out, memes is Spanish. Transition. How do you say memes? Yes, exactly. We 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 saw that in the past. Meme, 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 mm -hmm. meme. It's a meme. Oh, okay. Like a viral meme. Mm -hmm. Kept calm and whatever. For example, and uh, kept calm. Kept calm. Transition. Kept doesn't exist. Oh, keep. Keep calm. Keep. Uh -huh. Keep calm and drink always coffee. Keep calm and drink always coffee. Exactly. Uh -huh. In this case, it's a different keep, no? Because it's not like the pasta or the refrigerator. It's a different keep. Yeah, it's for feelings. It's for feelings. That's correct. So keep has a lot of meanings. One is for like keep calm, relax, keep uh keep uh, keep relaxed or or uh -huh. keep it another thing is <laughs> you have an idea <laughs> sorry <laughs> the other one is for la la laurita's uh, keep i keep my my milk in the refrigerator i have another keep is similar to continue what have you heard keep going keep going you can do this let's go continue keep going and going and going you know i don't want to go to the gym no 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 keep going move it let's go keep has a lot of meanings do you understand it's like to go Mm -mm. It's like continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Imagine when you have a... Mm, oh, when you cook and you are doing, for example, you need to... Hot cakes. And the hot cakes need constant mix and mix and mix and mix. Do you agree? Okay. Keep mixing. Okay. Keep okay. mixing until the balls disappear. Okay. That is the keep that I am talking talking about. Yeah, and our motivation, not huh, teacher. Motivation. Okay. For example. Um. For example. Um. Keep. Hmm. Sorry. Keep. Yeah, okay. Keep. It's like your example. Keep. Keep going uh -huh. in my work. Keep, exactly. Um, keep going. You can do it. That uh. New uh, uh calculate to paid period. Calculate you you period. you can you you can to calculate two yeah no you can two. calculate you can calculate the paying period the paying period or I need context I mean okay probably this is very 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 specific no. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. Keep going is a motivation expression, no? Continue, yes. keep going. You can. No? Yeah. Yeah. Keep going to learn the new activity for you for your job. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Keep going with your English. You see? That's another form. Etc. Etc. My people. So. 
Tell me, Jessica. You see, do you... No, no do you. Have you ever kept a secret to your best friend? No, no, no really, I, I have not keep. Oop, kept. If you keep his present, exactly. Kept a secret to my friend. I have not keep, kept a secret to my friend. That sounds very, very good. Very, very good. Yes. Tell me, um, Karen, did you go to the supermarket this weekend? Yes, I keep going to the supermarket this weekend. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't say I keep going because keep going is similar to continue. Okay, I... Did you go to the supermarket this weekend? Did you go? Mm -hmm. Yes. I went. Excellent. <laughs> to the supermarket the last week. The last week, right? And where did you keep your groceries? I keep mm. my groceries. Where did you keep? I'm talking in present or in past? In present. Incorrect. Did you is past. Okay. Where did you keep? If I say, do you, do you is present. Okay. You see? I kept <laughs> mm -hmm. my groceries on the fridge. You kept your groceries on the fridge. Or how do you say a la cena? Uh... That's a good question. That's a good question. Let me help you. O almacén, no sé. <laughs> uh, that will be the... Okay, look at this. Cabinet. Uh, cabinet. Cabinet, but be careful. Uh, just a second. No, wait a second. Cupboard, freezer, blender, sink, oven, dishwasher. I think you mean the cupboard. Cupboard, okay. Uh -huh. Usually for for cups, you know, but sometimes we we keep the groceries in the cupboard. Yes, sometimes. No. Oh, it's look possible. at this wall cabinet. No, that's correct. The wall cabinet is possible too. Or counter. Counter is another name. Counter. Uh -huh. okay. You can use either counter. Oops. Counter or or cabinet. Cabinet. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. One more time. Okay. I kept my groceries in the cabinet. That's right. Kept your groceries in your cabinet. That's the correct kept that I was talking about. Okay. Precisely. Good job. Let's pass to the next verb. Breathe, meet, and then we have speed, bleed, breathe, feed, sweep, and weep. Some of them are probably necessary. Um, I think the, the only one that is necessary is feed, sweep, and weep. Check this out. Look at this little doggy over here. Do you see the little puppy? Right? Well, this guy is feeding the puppy. It's feeding the puppy. Understand? Yes. Question. Um, 
Caesar, have you ever fed a giraffe? Uh, what teacher? Have you ever fed a giraffe? Yes, in uh, when I was young, mm -hmm. I I fed a giraffe in in Reino Aventura. Nice. That is correct. Yes, in Reino Aventura, you went to Reino Aventura. You yes. are a vintage. <laughs> oh yes, oh no. I I'm old. Oh, like yes. that not apparent. Uh <laughs> No, 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 no. I am old. I don't look like. I don't no, look no. like. So, so, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a <laughs> little, I'm a little, little old. Let's accept it. <laughs> Excellent. Acceptance is the most important part. Yeah, I the have first step. 28 years to change. Yes, we are. We are vintage. Okay? Accept <laughs> it. It's part of you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. Okay. And what about... What about... Um, Laurita? The word sweep. The action of cleaning your house. Yes. In my house, uh -huh. I okay, I I always mm -hmm. swept mm. my mm -hmm. my house. We have a problem because we have always is is routine. Okay. Swept is past. Okay. Okay. Contradiction. I I'm. Mm. No, I swept uh -huh. always. Swept is past. Uh -huh. What is the present? Look at this. Sweep. Exactly. Sweep. Okay. I sweep always. No, I sweep um, my house in the morning. You sweep your house in the morning. Oh. Today. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Are you talking about in the morning or every day? You I need to select. Uh, if it's in the morning, is in the past now? Exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I I swept um, my house in the morning. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So one thing is to feed. The other one is to to sweep and the last one we have the word weep and look at this this is to weep mm -hmm. not exactly mm -hmm. the difference is, is between cry cry versus weep different okay cry is when you not necessarily weep actually you know what Let's give the, there is a little, um, uh, like, uh, smiley face weeping. There is one specific meme. <laughs> this is weeping. You see the difference between weep and cry? Technically, this is, this is, Cry. And this is whip. Cry is when I stay sad. Cry is when I am. When I when sad? I am sad. sad. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. When I am sad, I cry. 
when I am super, super, super giving a, a show. Uh -huh. You know? I when I laugh, laugh, laugh. When I what? Laugh. Oh. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Luck? Oh, no, 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 no. This is negative. Uh. This is this is sad. Is like is when I cry without control. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Like you cry, but there is no control. Like this baby, this baby is not crying. This baby is weeping, like ah, you know. That's a super, 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 super massive cry. That's weep. Do you understand now? Yes. That's a difference. Question. No. No. <laughs> well, I have a question. Tell me about this. When was last with time? this when when I felt when you no 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 it's, it's more like a it, it, it's it's like a an a, a a kid. Do you remember okay. what a kid? Okay. This is a kid. When I, uh -huh. uh, okay. So adults normally don't weep. Mm -hmm. Only mm -hmm. kids weep. Only kids? Uh -huh. Okay. So when they are very young, mm -hmm. they usually here have this no control. Okay. You know? Weeping, 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 weeping. So many kids in the bathroom. <laughs> That's not weeping. Um, I cannot find a kid weeping. Only in drawings, only pictures. I don't know why we have the P, but yeah, this is this is weeping. Anyway, tell me, uh, Rox, did you weep when you were a baby or were you a yes. very relaxed child? No, I, I weeping when I was a, a, a baby. Okay, watch out. Weeping, ING, eliminate ING. I, uh, I'm sorry, I wept. Exactly. When when I was a baby. Oh yes, that's correct. How do you know? Who told you that? My mom. My okay. mom uh, always say me. Uh -huh. uh, say uh, uh Your mom always yeah, tell me. My exactly. mom always tell me. Yeah. So watch out. Always tell present. What is the correct conjugation? Always tell if uh, I tell you tell he she it. Ah, sorry. My mom always tell tell us only the the extra syllable is only when the verb ends in s. Tells exactly yes. Mom, okay, my mom always tells me mm -hmm. that I. Whipped. Pronunciation. Whipped. Whipped. Yeah. When? When I was a child or a baby. <laughs> Excellent. You are correct. Good job. You are getting closer, guys. You are understanding this stuff. Good job. Okay. Oops. Keep it. It's okay. okay, I'm taking a note for the pro future classes. And now let's pass to the really irregular verbs. 
we are talking about pattern number nine. They're really irregular because they don't have a particular pattern. This specific list has no particular pattern. The verb go, do, have, make, become, come, understand, around, tell, and say don't match with any of the rest of the patterns. These different patterns match, except this. So technically, this list is the exception list. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. That's easy for memorization. When you need to memorize, you only need to memorize pattern nine. Only pattern nine. The rest, you can associate. No. The difficult one is pattern nine, but they are very, very, very easy verbs. Go, do, make, very, very easy, easy verbs, no? So, let's say that we have the word uh, tell. My, who, who knows the difference between tell versus say? That's a good question. What's the difference between tell versus say? In this moment, rocks, for example, changed say and used tell. What's the difference? Uh, say is when you are referring to no specific person. Correct. Uh -huh. So if you say, uh, uh, I don't know, um, and, and a very popular terminator. Terminator says, I'll be back, but not to a particular person, no? It's like a general. Or Pinky and Brains, do you remember Pinky and Brains? These two guys. Brains says, we are going to try to get over the world. So we are not speaking about one communication to another. It's a general sentence. You say congratulations. You say hello. You say thank you. But tell, tell is a communication. My mother told me and I told my mother. Vice versa. If you understand the difference between say and tell, please give me a thumbs up. Okay. Good. Good. Question. Tell me, Karen. Did you, did you tell your, your boss that you are studying English? Yes, I told my boss that I am studying English. Good. Can you repeat that? Yes, I tell, told mm -hmm. my boss that I am studying English. I told my boss that I did study English. You have an extra did. You need to you need to eliminate that did. Did is only four questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, I told my boss. Mm -hmm. Yes. That I am studying English. Excellent. Study. No, yes. yes. You are correct. <laughs> yes. Only that 
extra deep is not necessary. Only questions. Okay. Yes. Remember, deep, deep is an auxiliary. Yes, teacher. As a verb, it means something. Do you know what is did as a verb? Uh, yes, do did done. Do did done, exactly. Uh -huh. So in the verb section, it's different. Okay. Right? It's extra. But in the in the in the auxiliary, only questions. And negatives. Right? Right. The last one. The last one we go with. With what are you, Jessica Smore? Jessie. Yes, um. Tell me, when did you become? When do you consider that? you became an adult? Um, I think that I became an adult mm -hmm. when I um, uh, start, when I started to take care, take care of my little sister. Oh, oh when so I... Nice. Yes, or when I have to uh, to feed something in the uh, about the house, mm -hmm. uh, when I have to feed by myself. Yes, I think the that moment is when I became uh, when I I I, I forgot the the word to say me di cuenta realize 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 uh -huh. realize that moment real. that moment is when I realize realize mm -hmm. that I became an album oh that's a wonderful story <laughs> that's a wonderful story I like being an adult mm -hmm. you don't hard. like to be an adult mm -hmm. Uh, maybe it's hard, but I think that it's necessary to understand uh, a lot of things. Exactly. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and to be um, independent. I don't know. Yes, it's the same. Independent. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I independent. I don't know. Independent. 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 Yes. Independent. It. It helps you to be independent. Agreed. But you know what? Everything is hard anyways. Mm -hmm. You know? So yes, you're doing yes. a good job. Yes. My people? I do my best. You do your best. That is fantastic. This is the final pattern of verbs in past. Do you have any question about these verbs? No. no, teacher. Are you completely sure? Sure, I'm completely sure. Well, that's fantastic because this is the end of regular verbs, uh, not regular and irregular verbs in past. If you are talking in past, you need to consider these three rules for regular verbs. And these three, well, eight, nine patterns for irregular verbs. Every time you want to talk, take this screenshot because this is going to be your mantra the next weeks. We are going to practice a lot with past participle, with simple past, ING, all the different conjugations. So it's very important that you dominate all this information. Are you sure you don't have a question?
All right. If you don't have questions, let me just finish this color green because they are verbs. And let me send you the screenshot directly to your, oops, directly to your WhatsApp. Thank My you. Guys. Happy Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.